Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. I'm Vicky. If you're new, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. Anyways, today's video is all about preparing outfits for Disney. You guys haven't spotted my Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. You know that I do a lot of crazy outfits, a lot of fun things with my girls, one of them being preparing them for Disney. We take Disney trips to a whole nother level. Like we have, it's like almost like a like a cruise where you have an itinerary of like this day we're going to be wearing like pirate theme or this day it's going to be like cinderella theme whatever the case so i take it up a notch every time we go to disney which in turn really makes it pretty magical now in order for me not to rip out my hair three days before the trip i tend to plan everything with lots of anticipation meaning i already bought the clothes for my upcoming trip months before um, and the reason for it is because i want to make sure i find everything with sufficient time now so there's a huge mess behind me and it's because i'm trying things on removing things hanging them back putting them away um and i'll be honest with you my girls are very good about keeping all of their accessories on keeping their looks on the whole day they're very good about that uh, whenever they go and if you've ever been to Disney with us or if you've ever spotted us in Disney, um, I, I, a couple of you guys who follow me who I may not know uh, like, in, like personally but have seen us at Disney, you guys can vouch for my daughters like walking to Disney and they're like modeling, posing the whole time like these, you know, really crazy poses. They enjoy that. Um, they like feeling like life is a runway. So they're always posing. They're always wearing these crazy accessories and they love it. Me, I start off on their level, meaning I wear all the accessories and everything. And slowly as the day progresses, I start shedding like a snake. I lose everything because I, I'm convinced I have premenopause. A hundred percent. Like you don't see me glistening. My house is at 68 degrees and I'm sweating. Okay. So anyways, I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to jump into the outfits. So you show you guys what I got, where I got it. A lot of these things I showed you guys woof, like weeks and weeks ago, I told you where to get them. They're probably not available anymore. However, maybe you can find something similar elsewhere, but I want to show you what I put together for the girls. So let's get started. So up first, guys, are these cute little rompers from Target. They are from a company called Art Class. They're $17 each. And um, I went up when I purchased these since it was over a month ago. I'd like to say maybe a month and two weeks ago. I purchased them a size higher than what the girls were at that point because the girls do grow fast so quickly. Um and I wanted them to be comfortable. Now, the little straps up top, they are already stuck there. It's not like you can adjust. So my suggestion is if you buy it, make sure you try it on before your Disney trip so that everything is covered up for your kids. But I love these because they're so airy and flowy. You can see how, not transparent, but they're very light. They're very airy. Um, they're not a linen. It's almost like, I don't even know how to describe it, like a nylon. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But... Um, they're very airy. They have pockets. So when I saw this, the first thing I thought of was Pirates of the Caribbean. And um, I don't know. I really wanted to create a look for Pirates of the Caribbean. So I picked up these and now we're going to add some accessories. So I decided to add um, a little bit of color and Pirates of the Caribbean, um, I, get, I guess, accent pieces. I went to Oriental Trading and I found these Velcro. Um, they're supposed to be like arm parrots. However, on the arm, they kind of slide off. Unless you have something that's going to keep them up, like a long sleeve shirt or something, they're going to slide off, especially on kids. So what I did was I just tied a knot towards the bottom and they are wrist parrots. So obviously there are no wrists to attach the parrots to. So I just put it up top, but you can start to see, you know, kind of the look I'm going for. So up next, I'm going to add these super cute little bandanas. We picked up these bandanas in the Disney cruise. Like they leave it for you in your stateroom when you're going to do the pirate night. I just kept them and it says um, in the Caribbean or something like that. So I'm just going to add it around their um, necks depending on what the temperature is or if not, I'll put it as a headscarf. So let's add this. So that is what it looks like with the um, scarves. Like I said, I will either put them around the neck or I'll put them as a headscarf. It really just depends on the weather. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase for shoes some black Crocs. I love Crocs. I love Crocs literally for everyday use, but I especially love Crocs in the park. One, they can get wet. Two, they're easy to dry if they get wet. They can get dirty. Rinse them under the sink uh, when you get back to your room and they're ready for the next day. No dry time. I love Crocs. Um, so I think I'm going to do some black 
or possibly red Crocs. Don't know yet, but um, this is the look. Up next, look number two. We are going with a Princess and the Frog look. So I bought the same rompers in this lime green. I bought these baby blue sunnies. They're so pretty because I like that square, almost uh, mid-century modern um, kind of style. These are Christmas ornaments from Target. All I did, guys, and every single person who sees the girls wearing one of these asks them about it. Like, where did they get it? Where did mommy get your hair clip? All I did was add these little um, clips to the back, but they're ornaments from Target's Christmas section. Um, so I just cut off all of the like strings and things to hang on the tree, and I just made them clips. Um, so they have their little rompers with the blue glasses. Then they have the little hair clips that I'm gonna add. And now to make it Princess and the Frog theme, I actually purchased these frogs. I thought they were very little. Originally, my plan was to make them headbands but look at how large and in charge these are now i am going to purchase like a light very thin um little cardigan um target sells them for about 15 dollars they're very light cardigans something so that when they're on the rides they don't feel that cold breeze inside the rides and it keeps them kind of um you know cool down but not like overbearing uh coverage up next we are heading over to hollywood studios and the girls are little bo peep it was accidental completely accidental but it worked out so well so i bought these little they're almost like dusters i bought them at um actually on amazon um they were very very cheap and they're very soft and airy which is the theme i think for our clothing this um spring and then i bought this two-piece pink and white striped short and peplum top from Target for the girls. Um, it's from a company called Grayson's Threads. I love it. Very, very pretty and again airy because during spring and summer in Florida, it's excruci excruciatingly hot, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then I went to the Dollar Tree and again, this whole outfit came together like Little Bo Peep accidentally. I found these little sheep um, sunny like sunglass holders so I purchased it for the girls so they can attach it to their purse and they can keep their sunnies on it and then I picked up these pink sunnies this is from the Dollar Tree and the sunnies are from the Dollar Tree the uh, dusters are from Amazon and the little sets are from um, Target okay guys this is one of these looks that like I, saw, I spotted this dress at Target. Let me get closer so you can see. It's Cinderella. It is a sheer fabric, but there's a lining on the bodice and uh, a lining inside of like the actual skirt. It is Cinderella, and what they did was they took Cinderella and the castle, and they made it into the shape of like a blue rose. There is, it's like a tiered skirt, so there's two layers to it. This video does it no justice. I picked up these dresses at Target. These dresses, I believe, were $50. Yeah, $50. Um, they didn't have many sizes. Now, I will be honest, I'm the type of person, I don't, I strongly dislike Disney-themed clothing. What I mean by, I, I, I usually, typically, never purchase anything with like a Disney princess print on it. I feel like it's very cheesy in my personal opinion. I know there's people that love Disney clothes with all the Disney characters on it. I find it to be cheesy for me. However, this, I spotted this from a distance and unless you're very close, you can't see Cinderella's face. But I saw this and I called my husband and I was like, listen, I know that I came for other things, but I need these dresses for the girls. And he's like, pick them up pick them up because they were really, really pretty. And all I can envision in my head were the girls spinning and twirling in front of the Cinderella castle with the blue hues of the Cinderella castle and these dresses, oh my God. And then for the shoes, I found these golden moccasins with the faux fur. These were, I believe, $30. I also bought these at Target. Yeah, $29.99. So that the girls can wear these dresses Oh my God, they're so beautiful with these mocks. Now, the girls are obviously not going to be very comfortable the whole day with this dress. So I had a plan to walk in. This is going to be like Coco's photo, like photo shoot moment. Um, I had a plan for the girls to walk in with these dresses and eventually change. So we're going to do these dresses. I'll do crowns on them. Um, you know, I'll curl up their hair, the gold mocks. I'll do like a gold little purse 
still in the process of finding them. I just found these dresses and I wasn't planning on it. So now I'm going to show you what they're going to change into the day that we're in Magic Kingdom. Let's go. Okay, guys. So yes, the same romper. I bought them at every single, like if they had it, I bought it. It doesn't matter what color it was. I bought it. So they're going to go with this pin striped, this baby blue and white pin striped. Um, it's very Easter to me. And then I found, again, these rompers were from Target and I found the ears at um, Target's dollar spot which are way prettier than the ones that they have for sale for like five, 10 bucks. These are way prettier. It has that baby blue. It's like a baby blue design with little daisies. So that is what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to show, I'm going to put that in their hair, like the headband. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to drape like on their actual hair. I basically attach it down here and it drapes down their hair. Let me show you. So these are floral garlands that you can find at the Dollar Tree. They're made out of felt and they're sewn together with a very, very, very thin. Let's see if I can find the string somewhere. Okay, you see that white string right there? Okay, that's how they're all connected. So what I usually do is I will take this garland and cut it into strips and like drape it on their hair so it looks like daisies are floating on their hair. So this is what I'm going to add to this look. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to add those flowers down their hair and um, I'm going to probably style it with some sort of white moccasin that is very comfortable on the inside. They'll probably ditch the moccasins for some Crocs and that is okay by me because I understand. I also uh, picked up, I'm waiting for it to arrive, some uh, pastel pink. Actually, I know, I think the pink arrived. Let me go pick up the pink. Nope, just checked, not in yet. I got like a black one and a gray one. But it's a very light pink cardigan that I'm gonna drape over. I can also go back to my original, this one right here, and drape it over. But I feel like the pink will give it that um, that touch of like feminine that I'm looking for. Now I am gonna show you a couple of pieces that um, I'm not including in this collection because it's more so like to stay at home, or something like that but I found these um, bathing suits and cover-ups at Target this is a knitted yellow must like a mustard yellow cover-up um, and then it has the bathing suit in the bottom you can see the full look in a previous video I posted so that's why I'm not like too crazy about showing you this right now because I already showed you but this is another P oh another romper they had it in this like watermelon pink with these bags that I bought last year from Target Sunnies that I bought at the, do uh, at the Dollar Tree this is a sweater I want to show you guys look at this beautiful knitted Encanto sweater now everything is knitted this is actually a felted patch that was sewn on and this is Bienvenidos and then in the front of this what I like about it is that it doesn't scream Encanto. So when we go on cruises, see how the rainbow, the flowers, the butterfly. When we go on cruises and we go to Puerto Rico or we go to um, Mexico or we go to Jamaica or the Bahamas, it's something that is fitting because um, in the islands, there's a lot of these beautiful little um, homes that look just like this. So it really, um, it lets you play around with looks and places and it doesn't kind of like marry you to one specific theme and that's why I love this knitted dress uh, sweater this knitted sweater was $40 um, at Target too so I hope you guys enjoyed this video just so you can see kind of like my thinking process of when I start to put looks together for Disney a lot of the times it doesn't end up looking like that um, I'll probably change one or two things from each outfit um, as we get closer and I start seeing what and I start seeing activities and I start seeing what restaurants we're going to go to I start to modify the outfits but that's kind of like my thinking process and a lot of you guys have asked me for that another thing you guys have asked me for is how I pack for Disney and that's a whole other video that's like that's going to be a whole other video and I'll show it to you guys um but because we go to Disney so often we go to Disney once a month at least once a month sometimes we go twice a month but it is like a monthly ritual um that it's just become second nature on how to pack and what to take, what not to take. And I feel like that's a really good video for you guys, especially those of you who don't go to Disney often and don't know what to expect. So I'll make a video for you guys soon for that. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Tea Time with Alohan Coco. And I'm hopeful that the next video is either going to be Coco's birthday preparations because Coco is going to be five um in march um or disney packing regardless they're both like literally back to back so 
we'll see what happens there. But I'm really, really, really excited for both. Can't wait to share with you guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to send me direct messages on Instagram or comment below. And I'll be more than happy to share links and all that stuff with you guys if these items are still available. Anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you in our next video.